Uno, dos, tres. Hi guys, it's Sam. And it's Lola. And this is Blooming, Blooming to Beauty. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. You already know how we do on Fridays. We got our drinks. Clink, clink, clink. You know? Um, unwinding time. So today, we're going to be doing our first first, first impression video. That's exciting. It is. Now, the cool thing is that we're both testing out like a foundation, quote unquote, because one is like a CC cream. Correct. Um, but we have different products. So, Lore, what are you going to yes. be trying out? So, I am going to be trying one of YouTube's favorite, 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 mm -hmm. favorite uh, CC cream. And it's from It Cosmetics, the CC cream. It's the Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. It has SPF of uh, 50, right? So, UVA. Uh, covering protection there. I'm very excited. This is something I've wanted to try for a very long time and first first impressions We wanted yeah. to do something different. I wanted to try this for a very long time and I usually do BB creams uh, Slash now CC cream yeah. during the week. So it just makes sense that I try this one out Yeah, and I am gonna be trying the also Ooh. talked about and Jaclyn Hill raved about this foundation nice So I've been dying to use it. It's the Dior skin forever um, foundation, perfect makeup, everlasting wear, poor refining effect with sunscreen. Um, so this is it and you know, we're going to take it out and stuff. So I think it's cool cause you're going to have, um, you know, our perspective on yeah. two different products. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, I think that's always cool and we'll see how it wears and all that good stuff. Yeah. So, so we're going to try them on. We're just going to start our face off and then we'll check in later on during the day mm -hmm. once we put everything on and wear it for a couple hours, see how it wears. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to get right into it. The nitty gritty. Yes. From face. Oof, so pretty. From face. So what are you? Oh, you're doing your. I am your face. Right, face first. Mm -hmm. Awesome. My little touch and so. So of course, after washing your face and moisturizing and all that good stuff, you guys already know what I'm gonna go in with with the Bright Booster or Elixir from Physicians oil. Formula, which is an oil. I, if you guys know of any different one from the drugstore or high end that you guys absolutely love, let us know so that we can try those out. We love trying new makeup. Yeah, this definitely. is the one I've just been using. Of course, yeah. we're open for I change. know I do have, and I have tried the um, Farsali. Yeah. Um, it's like enhancing drops or something like that as well. Yeah. Um, and I, it's a purple bottle, and on top oh, of that, it's yes. pink, yes, and it has little that's specks pink. in it. Yeah. So it looks so beautiful. I now, know. granted, these are newly like purchased foundations. Yeah. So they might not match us 100%. No. We don't know. We're going to try that out. We're right in front um, of you guys. You have the shade light. light, right? Yeah, I got the light one. And I have the shade 35 Desert Beige. Oh, so nice. we'll see Very nice. if that goes. And I love, I mean, I'm a sucker for like the frost. Oh, it's so pretty. The frost glass. So, yeah. I'm really it's excited. I've been wanting to try this foundation for a really long time. So, we're going to. And I think that's the that. fun part, you know, that we get to try so many things. And it's like, you get so excited when you yeah. finally try something that's been on your list for a long time. Yeah. Because even though, of course, I think we all enjoy makeup, there's some things that you have to just save them for next time and save them for next time. Now, don't get me wrong. I have high expectations for and, this foundation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've not only heard about it through Jaclyn Hill, but also like Katie slash Luster Lux. I heard oh, her talking nice. about it once and she really liked the way her skin looked when she wore it. So... I'm really excited to try it out today. Nice. I am going to prime my face like I normally would with the Milani Prime Light. I've talked about this before. I love the glowy look. Even if it's just a CC cream or a BB cream, I just really like to have a healthy glow from within. So I will not shy away from anything brightening uh, for my face. So yeah. after the oil, I'm just priming it so that we can... Get going with that CC cream. Yeah. You're going hammer I'm going already. I love it. I'm going already. It's not bad. I Looks know. good. I Looks know. really good. I'm excited. That's one cheek. That is one cheek. And one cheek. And I see you're using the real techniques. I am well. real not nice. using I also enjoy I mean I do like the beauty blender, but when I can find a more affordable sponge that does the same job um, and feels good, I'm gonna go for that. So I do also enjoy the Eco Tools one. Yeah. 
Um, and I have heard that LA Girl has a good sponge as well. Oh. Um, so I That's do want to look into trying that one. Morphe has a really good one as well and that people have spoken about. So. Yeah. And of course, mm -hmm. we'll all seen the CC cream, right? From It Cosmetics. It has a pump, which I think is cool. It's yeah, exciting. That's, that's the cool. only thing about drugstore foundations. I do use a lot of drugstore stuff. Um, I feel that they yeah, like the pumps. pump. I no, I will oh. say a, a foundation that I liked that was drugstore did not have a pump, but um, it was the L'Oreal <laughs> Infallible Pro. Okay. Um, is that a newer one? Pro matte one? No. No, I'm just trying to think if it was oh, L'Oreal okay. or Maybelline. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's L'Oreal though, but they have the Infallible Pro Matte, Pro Glow. Um, and they don't have pumps, but their foundation is in a squeezy tube. Yeah. So those are easier to, you know, take out products as well. As opposed to the ones when it's just like a big hole and, you know, you got to pour it and yeah. too much might come out. And then you're there like, well, let me... Let me put foundation on my whole body so I don't waste it. So I did two pumps in my hand and I feel like I have so much product. Yeah, I did like a pump and a half. Because I am the type of girl, like, I see so many people, like, they'll put in, they'll be like, let me see how a second layer looks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really, I, I usually like to just go with the least amount that I can. Yeah, absolutely. And if I need a, a little bit more or I miss a couple a spaces, I'll go back. But for the most part, like, I'm trying to use the least amount of foundation possible. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. How's like that going? It. So I really do like the way it's looking, my skin. I'm just starting to figure out if it's too dark. What do you think? You know me and my pale self. It's light. It's fine. It looks fine. It looks fine. It might be, like, a little darker. Like a shade, right? Like a Yeah. It'd be I feel like when foundations are, like, a hair too light or a hair too dark you can work you can go with it yeah because you can either put a little more bronzer so it can look a little darker yeah. or just go in a little more ham with the um the concealer yeah and lighten it up yeah, yeah, yeah. so i mean if it's, it's way really off then it's different I but i love the way it looks it like the way it that looks it like looks your skin. yes my glowy skin, my natural glowy skin. And it's so skin. honey, it's so honey, it's so funny, how much did I drink? Um, it's so funny <laughs> it because I heard um, Yola and Polish talk yeah. about CC Ooh, cream nice. recently. Um, it's it's from, I want to say it was like Urbanion, I don't know, it was a, it was a weird um, brand. I, I personally haven't heard of them, but when I looked it up, like I, I tried to put it in the way she said it. Um, but I did find it. They sell it at Sephora, but I think it's like a $44 CC cream. Okay. But I remember her talking about it and say it was like effing amazing. So, Ooh, that's exciting. You know. I like CC cream. I'm really liking Sorry it. Sorry if I'm putting the mirror on my face, but I think look, we're looking good. Looking we are good. looking good. Ooh. Okay. This looks good. I I'm like just, it. I really like it. I'm just going to put in a little And I especially like it when you see the difference. Like, yeah. I wear... Uh, like I said, I wear BB creams throughout the week, so being able to compare both of them, yeah. like well, looking back at it, I'm already loving this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I agree, because it's like sometimes when I wear like a light product, I want it to look natural, but I want to see that it's there too, Yeah. because it's like, otherwise, why, why, did, it? why did I buy it? So again, I'm going with... Uh, concealing with my dark circle concealer from NYX in shade medium and line that up with 15 clear from Maybelline fit me line yeah and I just combos. went in I mixed in the Urban Decay naked concealer and I mixed it in with the Maybelline fit me love it love it I would put that in too we are having a good I'm face really day today I'm really excited I know Again, I know this is just first impressions, yeah. but so far... And I agree, because it could be something where it's like, it looks beautiful, and then at the end of the day, my face is all cracked and messed <laughs> up. But, you know, but that's why we'll do a check-in. But I think first impression is definitely something that's important as well. Yeah, it's a good one. Because if you're already putting it on, and you're not enjoying the way it's looking... Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the true. That's true. Sometimes you you put something on, you're like, yeah. I have to wash my face, yeah. and start over. 
like it's so, not working for exactly me. so at least we have that ahead of us that we are enjoying what we both are, yeah, are, are just bringing to the using. table i love it i'm excited I'm liking it Ta -da -da. Do, 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 do. i'm okay. really excited Jaclyn Hill, I think the first time she spoke about this foundation was when she had gone to like an amusement park. What? And That's like, ridiculous. I don't think about putting her foundation, especially no. to an amusement park. And I'm going to be walking around, I'm going to sweat, you know. Don't get me wrong, I want to look good because you never know. You never you know. know. I mean, you, you got your know. hobby, but. For the single know. ladies. Never know who I'm going to meet, you know. But um, I just think that. You know, like I personally would never do it, but she said that she put it and it lasted all day. Like her family kept complimenting her makeup. So I was like, yeah, if it can last through an amusement park all day, hey, it's hey. a foundation worth trying. Worth Tell you that. Try. Okay, great. So I am done with this nonsense. Mm -hmm. Let me just set my my face again. I'm just I got a little happy there. I Hold know. On. Let me let me have a drink since I'm already here. Work. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing the bottom pad. <laughs> she's crying. So she's using the NARS. Yeah, um, this is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. And it's the pressed version because they do have a loose version as well. But it was funny because I used to use this a lot and then I stopped using it. And then I tried it out again because Young Wild and Polish raved about it. Oh, she, and she's head. and she then her. I like loved it so much. I finished it. I had to repurchase it, and this one is like hitting pan already, and it's breaking my heart. But it also makes me happy because I buy makeup to use it, and obviously right. nobody wants to waste money. Nope. So if you're using it and it's coming down to the wire, that's a good thing because you're happy. you know means you you're, you're definitely used getting it. use out of your product, and you're. It's money well spent. That's right. Money okay. well spent. Unless it lasts for two days and you're like, what the fluff? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Fun fact, I do not curse. <laughs> so I know. I, I, I love like, it. What the fluff? I love it. But um, yeah, and it's not something where, you know, this is another type of conversation where if I tell somebody else, they're like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, they'll apologize if they curse, but like, I, I don't mind you're it. Fine. Like, do what you got to do. But I don't respect you. Don't. Mm -hmm. And they're like, why don't you? And I'm like, it just, it just doesn't come out. It's so cute. Right. It's so cute. But I'm okay with it. Yeah. So, so we're ready for now. Yeah. Oh, well, you're yeah. I like it. Right? Right, Simone? Oh my I'm god. Telling you. She just hit me. The liquor is it's getting great. here. It is. It, <laughs> there we go. It's been a long day. Ooh. Don't even play. But yeah, I'm excited. I think it's looking really good so far. I'm excited yeah. to put the rest of my face um, on. On. Because <laughs> it's not on yet. Yeah, eyebrows and all. Um, to get everything set and then see how it looks from there. But I'm yeah, excited. I'm I think, excited. I think we're off to a good start. We are. And see, and this is exactly what I mean. Like, I really like the way it looks. So I'm like, mm, now I am. Now I'm looking gonna, at her too. I'm going to have to buy it. <laughs> But we're yeah, gonna, so. eventually we're gonna have a video called Sam made me buy it. Yeah, Lola made, made me buy, buy it. it. It's gonna be great. Look what we did. Exactly. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and get the rest of our face ready off of camera, and then we'll be back and check in with you and let you know how it's going. Bye. So we finished our full face. How do you think we look? How do you think the foundations look? Well, the CC My cream. My CC cream is looking great. I absolutely really like it. I'm very excited. Cannot wait to wear it for a couple more hours to see how it wears off. But as of right now, I love it. I'm glowing. Yeah, and I love my Dior one. I cannot complain. I think it looks natural and soft. And, yeah. you know, we're definitely, we, you know, we don't live together. Yeah. So we're going to be doing separate little checkouts, you know, at yeah. the end of the day to see how it wore and if it still looks good and our opinion on it. But yeah, as of right now, we're really enjoying it. Yeah, absolutely. I really like it. I have high hopes. I'm very yeah. excited. Yeah. So um, we'll check up with you guys later on in separate occasions but yeah. in the same video so stay tuned for that mm -hmm. um but if not if you don't have any questions let us know down below mm -hmm. uh, if you have any products you would like us to try i mean yeah. you know as long as it's not an arm and a leg <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're willing, willing to, to do it, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so definitely let us know enjoy the rest of your friday that's right and yeah. have a great weekend bye, bye. guys on an update for the foundation the dior 
Um, so I really do enjoy this foundation. Um, I will say that now you can start seeing my um, acne scars seeping through. Um, it's about 9.30 and I put it on at about 2ish so it's been on for about 7.5 hours. Um, and now I'm getting ready to take a shower, wash my face off. Um, so I just wanted to check in with you guys. I do really like it. I think, you know, if you can see the foundation still looks really nice and smooth on the areas that I do not have acne and irritation right now. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Um, and I want to know what you guys think. I want to know if you've tried it, if you haven't tried it, if you like it, if you don't. Um, please let me <laughs> disregard the noise in the background. I have family over right now. But I really do love it. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Have a good night. Hey, it's Lola. Just checking in regarding the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I wore it all day. I've had it for about eight hours. I had it, I threw it on this morning, like around... 1 p.m. maybe maybe earlier yeah yeah actually i'm such a liar like around noon um and i've had it, it's about nine so i've had it for about nine hours so everything looks great still very smooth you see some of my um blush may be a little bit faded maybe a little bit not that bad i had a great day uh makeup wise and just in general but um i love it i don't know i really like it for first impressions for my first day i feel like it's great i'm gonna work on i'm gonna try really hard to wear it all week so i can give you guys an update hopefully use it all month of february so that i can give you a better update regarding our first impressions. But for today, like I said, I absolutely love it. I love the coverage. I love the feel. I love how my skin looks. It just um, looks really good. So thanks everyone. And we will see you on our next Blooming to Beauty video. Bye.